series for JIB. Here we are covering all the important objective questions as well as important theories and some numericals as well, whenever they arise. Okay. So let's start without wasting the time. The moratorium period in case of vehicle loans is generally considered as what? Okay, what is the moratorium? In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Okay, let me get it one by one. In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Everyone. Home loans. In home loans, the moratorium period is generally. Yesterday I have taken this. Type in the comment section, everyone. In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Yeah, it is. 18 months, correct. In 18 months for new construction. In old houses, no moratorium. Directly disburse it, full amount and take it. Okay, that's it. So, what is it in case of vehicle loans now? Vehicle loans. 6 months, 3 months, 2 months and 1 month. So, what is it? There is actually, yeah, let me see in the comment section, what are you answering? Let me see your comments, everyone. Yeah. 6 months, 3 months, 2 months or 1 month. In case of vehicle loans, huh? we are considering vehicle loans over here. So, Answer fast, yeah. It is. It is. Everyone, everyone, be fast. Yes. Let me see in the comment section. Yes. Vehicle loans, two wheeler, car, personal, uh, not personal, two wheeler, car, all these, basically these two loans. So it is given as, let me see, yes it is, actually there is no moratorium period, but one month is considered as a moratorium period, why because when we disperse it, after that, after one month, the customer starts repaying. Right? That is the logic. So, actually there is no moratorium period. Okay? No moratorium period allowed for vehicle loans. But in an exam, if it comes and if you don't have the option of no moratorium, understand this, whatever, whatever I am saying. If there is an option of no moratorium period, you will write that. But if there is no option given of no moratorium period, don't get confused. It is one month. Okay? Next one. The repayment period in case of new car loans, new cars is generally up to. So this repayment period for new cars is up to what? Again, let me see. Get it from you. I'll give you one minute to answer. Everyone, I'll give you one minute. Let's see. By the time I'll just tell you before, uh, by the time you answer. See this, call the number given over here. On the screen you are seeing that number, that flashing number, call it. Join the paid batches, okay? Yeah, very important. So, have you got it, everyone? What is the answer? New car loans. New car loans is 60 EMI, correct? Five years. New car loans is always five years. New cars, huh? Now, vehicle loan, many of you get confused in vehicle loan. Vehicle means which vehicle are we talking of? We are talking of two-wheeler, we are talking of car, but we are not talking of commercial vehicle. Suppose truck loan, that is not considered as a vehicle loan. That is a commercial vehicle loan. Okay? So, vehicle loan is separate. Got it? The repayment period in case of used car, now look at this, we are talking of used car over here. In case of used cars is generally 36 EMI, what is 48 EMI, 60 EMI and 72 EMI. So it is used car, second hand car, right. Here that depends on what type of car you are purchasing. Suppose if I am purchasing very old car. Okay, 
then the very old car the repayment period will be different it can be 24 months also it can be 12 months also depending on bank to bank so it's it, it's upon the bank to decides what should be the repayment period for the used car loans okay depending on the life of that car okay but generally for used car it is everyone what is the answer let me see what is the answer you guys are giving it is for used car it is 36 months 36 okay for used car loans we are giving 36 months and for new car loans it is this uh, fifth, uh, what five years 60 months right have we seen for two wheeler two wheeler loans okay tell me for two wheeler what is the period for two wheeler generally two wheeler two wheeler loans are given for what two wheeler loan type in the comment section two wheeler loans are given for what period which period are the two wheeler loans given yes everyone two wheeler two scooter bikes okay it is three years correct 36 emi scooter bike two wheeler anything it is three years okay 36 emi next one before going ahead everyone is here to join the adda 24 7 telegram channel see so we are having a separate officers at that 24 7 telegram channel to join this telegram channel scan this qr code okay scan the qr code over here and to join the youtube channel scan this qr okay scan it fast so why should you join this channel tell me why should you join the reason is all the latest updates from iibf understand this from the latest updates from iibf regarding jib and cib they are updated on the channels immediately okay number one number two number two you get free youtube series right now what are you watching you guys are watching the same free youtube series so the same free youtube series you get it on this on uh, this channel also okay so that's why join this telegram or the youtube or the third channel third channel there is the instagram channel also so join that instagram also okay next one in case of personal loans banks have the following type of security so for personal loans what do we take as a security personal okay pl for personal loans what type of security do we take mortgage of property Ch charge on future income no security any of the above at the discretion of the bank so tell me do i take the mortgage of property for a personal loan property is taken for which loan property is taken for which loan yes see here pro pro property is taken for it's not taken for home loan in home loan we create the property that is called as prime security when we take the property as a security we take it as a collateral which which property if it's an existing property this one okay so mortgage of property is not taken even on home loans home loans we take the mortgage on the new property to be built prime security on collateral security we don't take it for home loans right this mortgage of property is taken for commercial loans for personal loans it's not at all there charge on future income that is also not there see here, some banks do go for this uh, they have a system in nationalized banks some nationalized banks that you will require the uh, this company company to give you the this uh, in writing that they'll deduct the emi from their salary and pass it on to you but these things are gone now nobody does anything okay so charge on the future income that is also not there no security that is the answer in personal loans there is no security pl is given me merely nowadays on the basis of the civil score merely 
on the basis of civil score only. Okay, so that's why in case of personal loans, no security is taken. Okay, next one. So credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, which of the following types of loans? Credit risk. Credit risk means what? Firstly, you need to understand credit risk. Credit risk means the default risk. Default risk means the borrower not paying you. Suppose if I give a loan to you and if you don't pay, then I'll be in trouble. So that is known as credit risk. So the credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, the loan? Personal loans, home loans, vehicle loans and all of the above. Yes. In which type of risk, uh, uh, in which type of loan the credit risk is higher? Everyone. Let's see one by one. In home loans, I am having the home, right? The home which I uh, take as a prime security. I have that as a uh, that as a security. Suppose if this buyer or borrower does not pay me, then what will happen? I'll mortgage the loan is uh, home is mortgaged to me. I'll sell that loan and get my money back. In case of vehicle loans, the vehicle is hyper. Yeah, tell me one thing. What is this uh, vehicle done? It is a mortgage, a hypothecated or assigned. Tell me that. In vehicle loans, is the vehicle mortgage, hypothecated or assigned? What is it done? Type in the comment section, everyone. Is the vehicle mortgage, hypothecated or assigned? Everyone, yes. It is. It is hypothecated. Vehicle is always hypothecated. Okay. Home loans, home is always mortgaged. Okay, mortgaged. Got it? This uh, what gold loan, gold is always pledged. Okay. Then FDOD, FD is leaned, leaned. Okay, leaned. Then lean. Got it? Chala. Let's move on. The delinquency rate is higher in case of which type of loans? So where where is the delinquency means what? Failure, default. The default rate is higher in which type of loans? Personal, home loan, vehicle loan and all of the above. Which type of loans will you find this default rate as higher? Yeah. Personal, home loan, vehicle loan and all of the above. Where the person will be least concerned, borrower, where the borrower will be least concerned or least worried about the loans, in which of them? Borrower will be least worried, in which of these loans? Is it in personal loan, home loan, vehicle? In home loan, the borrower will be afraid. If the borrower doesn't pay the EMI, bank will, uh, this property is mortgaged to the bank, bank will sell off that property. Vehicle loan also, the, the uh, borrower will be afraid. That if he, he or she does not pay the EMI, the bank will sell off the vehicle. But in personal loans, there is no security. So the borrower will be least afraid. So therefore, the delinquency rate or the failure rate of the personal loans is much, much higher. Okay. And for to counter this, what do we do? To counter this, we always follow the civil score. The person with the higher civil score, there are less chances here I am saying chances it's not that the person will not default there are less chances that the person will default in case of personal loans if with a higher civil score okay so that's why in personal loans we take the help of civil or nowadays not only civil there are three to four agencies one is civil second is Equifax third is TransUnion right Dun and Bradstreet so there are various agencies Got it? Now, everyone, before going ahead, download Adda 24 7 app. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, everything. Whatever we need, you will be getting it over here. Okay? So, download it, uh, download it immediately and start studying. Because when are the exams? Not even one month now. Not by one month, not even 15 days now. Yeah, right? So, start studying immediately. Okay? So, uh, immediately download it. And how to download it? 
Play Store. Go on App Store. Again, just Play Store and download it. Immediately it's available. Type Adda 24 7 app. Okay. Next one. Personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of the employee, number of years in business, annual income of, of the business. So, personal loans are sanctioned generally in, uh, on the basis of what? Yeah. Salary in case of employee, number of years in business, and annual income of the business. So, is it A to C all? Or is it uh, A and B only? Or is it B and C only? So, what is it? What do you say? It is sanctioned on the basis of everyone. Sanctioned on the basis of personal loans are sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of employee. Is it on the basis of only salary? Or is it on the basis of number of years for businessmen? Here. For salaried employees, it's, uh, employee, it's very easy. Just see the salary slip form 16 and you'll get the details of that custom. Right? But businessman, business person, there's a problem. Why? Because the balance sheets have to be checked. You have to check the condition of the business. You have to check, check the place of the business. So, personal loans to business businessmen are always difficult. Okay? Annual income in case of businesses, that is also a point. So, if I am giving a loan to any person, now not only this number of years in business, so B and C will be checked in case of business person, but in case of employee also nowadays we check where how many years in salary in business or I will write it here job also, job, okay, because both the things are important, even the salaried employee, if the person is of temporary nature, the job is of temporary nature, then what, so that's why, a, B and C all. So, A to C all is the answer. Okay. So, the answer is personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of all the three. A to C. Salary, number of years and annual income. Got it? Next one. The amount. Now, you might be seeing these numbers. 251, 250. Where is it? That's why I am saying join the paid classes. There I have shared all these question lines and I'll share it. Even the revision batches are coming up. There also I'll be sharing these revision batches. Okay. So join them immediately. Okay. So the amount of personal loans is classified as big ticket personal loan, small ticket personal loan, a small ticket personal loan for this purpose is a loan where the amount is. So small ticket PL where the amount is what? Up to 10,000, up to 20,000, up to 25,000, and up to 50,000. As well as important theories and some numericals as well, whenever they arise. Okay. So let's start without wasting the time. The moratorium period. Now, the numbers you'll see, the numbers we have, we have been covering it since many days as such. That's why these numbers are continuous. Okay. What? That's why I'm saying watch the series till from the starting. The moratorium period in case of personal loans is so. In case of personal loans, what is the moratorium period? PL. What do you think is should be the moratorium period in, in terms of personal loan? It is always one month, two months, three months, six months. Personal loan. Personal loan means. How many of you, you have worked in loans? How many of you have worked in loans? Just type yes in the comment section. Loan section. Those who have worked in the loan section, they will understand it. That for PLs, we don't give any moratorium period. No moratorium period. Then where is the answer? No moratorium period. When the answer is no moratorium period over here, what are you actually saying? You are saying one month moratorium period. Why? Because after the disbursement, it takes one month for the, the for the person borrower to pay the EMI, isn't it? So that's why personal loans will have one, one month moratorium period. Okay. Got it? One month moratorium period. Next one. Personal loans are repayable in a period of yeah, they are repayable in the period of what? What do you say, guys? 
12 months, 24 months, 36 months, 48 months. Generally, I am talking of generally. Now, there can be any bank can give the personal loans for 5 years also. Maximum loans allowed for the banks are 10 years, right? So, some bank can say that, okay, I will give it for 10 years. That's not an issue. But generally, 90% banks, how long do they give the PLs? They give the PLs for? What do you say, guys? They give the PLs for? 36 months. Okay, 36 months. Always remember, PLs are always given generally for 3 years. Okay? Do we take any security on personal loans? Type in the comment section. Do we take any security? Is it compulsory for us to take any security for the personal loans? What do you say? Is it compulsory? No, not at all compulsory. Okay? You can just give the personal loan like that only, without any security. Some banks do ask for some FD, some bike, some car, something uh, as a collateral. But that depends on bank to bank and depends on that score of that customer, credit score. Okay? Chalo, next one. For repayment of personal loans, banks obtain dash for payment on the due date. So, what do the banks obtain? Payment on the due date, huh? Due date. On the due date, the customer should pay. Means every month we have that EMI date, right? So, for that date, what do the what do the banks take? Authority letter to debit a deposit account. FDR as a security for the loan. Post digit checks, and any of the above. I know all of you will get confused over here between A and C now because B everyone knows B is not a, uh, something which is taken for uh, the due date point. Okay, FDR is taken as a security. That security has nothing to do with payment on the due date. All of you will get confused between A and C because you feel both of them are right. A is also right, C is also right. So what does the bank take now? Now I'm talking in this present age of computers, internet, UPI, everywhere. What do we take? Do we take these PDCs now? How many of you do take PDCs now from the customer? Type yes in the comment section if you take PDCs. One or three PDFs we take up till now for that negotiable instruments act. But for the regular repayment, 12 PDCs, 36 PDCs, do we take it? gone all those days are gone now directly authority letter that also we call it si now right standing instruction authority letter means si so we take si only that is the only point isn't it because nowadays all these things are gone pdc's and all this is everything gone okay next one the disbursement of a personal loan is generally in one go, in the period of one or two months, in installments, any of the above at the bank's discretion. So, personal loan is disbursed all in one go, or uh, one go means what? Single single installment means single singly. I, so, if you want a loan of four five lakhs, I'll give you five lakhs immediately, or will I give it in two months? One or two months? Oh, this month one lakh, next month one lakh. In installments, every month I'll be giving you 50, 50,000. Do I give it like this? At the bank's discretion? How does the bank generally give this loan? It's always given at A, in one go. Personal loans are always given in one go. Okay? Now you'll say, sir, personal loans, one go, that's okay. See, the question over here is generally how is it given? 90% everywhere. See, it's after all at the discretion of the bank. Bank can sometimes tell you that, okay, one month, this month I'm giving you this much, next month I'll be giving you whenever you require it. But generally what happened, personal loan is for what? Personal loan is for the personal requirements. And for that, the human being or that customer has applied, right? So if the customer has applied for some urgent work, that person is needed exactly the full amount for that urgent work. So that's why it's always disbursed in one go. Okay. Next one. One. 
the term demographic dividend is used in Indian context with reference to I mean, demographic dividend. What do you mean by this word dividend? Dividend means basically advantage. So demographic advantage to India is in what terms now? Who can tell me? Demographic dividend is in India is in is for what terms? Advantage of largest number of qualified persons. Qualified. Do we have too many qualified persons? Advantage of highest number of young persons. Do we have young persons? Advantage of highest number of software development firms. Do we have that? Advantage of all of the above. All of the above. What do you think is the answer? Yeah. Type fast in the comment section. Qualified, young or software. It is B. Highest number of young people. That is the right answer. Advantage of highest number of wrong young people. That is the correct answer. Because India has a high demographic dividend of young persons. Do you know which country is aging now? Aging. Aging means all of them are getting old. Japan. Correct. Japan is aging. Second, China is coming up in the same line. China is also aging now. Okay. So that is the biggest disadvantage to these countries. Next one. For education loans, bank takes the following. So banks take what banks follow. Policy prescribed by Ministry of HRD. Policy details formulated by RBI. Model education loan scheme by IBA. So own policy framed by them without taking into account any instruction from RBI or government of R or IBA. What is the answer? Means education loan which policy is forward this policy is given by a certain a certain institution which is that institution that is the right, right question over here hrd ministry of hrd rbi iba or their own forget everything rbi forget this government i'll do my whatever i want is it that d what is the answer everyone what is the answer it is iba Remember this. For education loans, banks follow the model education loan scheme of IBA. IBA has devised this scheme. Okay. Everyone, before going ahead, download Adda 24-7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, whatever we require for clearing JIB and CIB, you will get it over here. So that's why download it right now. Okay. Do, don't just download it otherwise i'll i'll tell you many how many apps okay let me ask you one question in your own mobile how many apps do you have do you know the number at least how many number of apps you have type yes or no i know many of the answers are no over here because i myself don't know how many apps are there in my mobile we just download it and keep it saying that oh we'll use it sometime don't do that this is the main bread and butter daily it's like breathing in and breathing out that much important this app is for you download it and use it in this app at that 24 7 app you will be getting premium study materials everything that is their free tests free ebooks some part of the ebooks are given free free lectures are also given so whatever is free grab it download it immediately okay Next one, move on. So for education loan, education loan is available generally to which of the following? School students, professional and other college students, only university level students and any of the above. So whom is the education loan available now? Who gets the education loan? Let me see. Yes, 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 yes. Who gets the education loan? School students? Have you seen any schools getting the education loan? I think so within some years they will also require it because the school fees are so huge now, isn't it? Look at the primary school fees in the private schools. They are around 2 and in metro cities they are around 4 to 5 lakhs. Metros. Many of you might be say, staying in metros, you might be seeing those private school fees. In tier 2 cities, they are around 1 and, a, one and a half lakhs. 
so the right answer for this is what this is this professional and college students other college students okay so education loan is given to these guys professional and other college students only university level student that's not the right answer okay it can be to professionals also means cas they are also given the education loan okay in case of education loans who is made a co borrower see here education loan is given to whom tell me first it is always given to that student actually the borrower is that student but what happens we don't the student is not earning at that time that's why we don't give that person that student that much uh, that amount we give we take some co borrower so whom do we take the co borrower the college where the student takes the admission my god college where the student takes the admission this college will go bankrupt there are 1200 let's say 1000 students in any college suppose college becomes the <laughs> co borrower to these students college will go bankrupt right so that is out family member of the members of the borrower the parents of the borrower friends and relatives of the borrower near and dear ones see this b c and d all of them are similar answers or what is the correct answer then correct answer is this parents parents of the borrower means this student parents of the student are taken as the co borrowers always remember this but remember generally what happens the parents are taken as co borrower but what is the logic of this education loan suppose if i take the education loan i am the student let's say okay so i am going for let's say engineering so in engineering first year means i'll take the admission and then um, when will i repay the loan and who will repay the loan suppose if my parents are taken as the co borrower okay then what is expected from that loan who should repay that loan should the parents repay it or should the student repay it what is thing guys what is expected from that loan it is expected that the student should complete the course and repay the loan by joining the job or doing some business anything so that is the logic behind it student should repay but what happens we take parents as a co borrower why because if the student doesn't get a job immediately if the student fails then what the loan is to be repaid in any case so that repayment will be done by this co borrower as a parents okay the amount of education loans is is restricted to dash for studies in india so in india what is the maximum amount of education loan 5 lakh 7.5 lakh 10 lakh 20 lakhs now this is a simple answer okay what is the answer over here education loans in india in india immediately i'll be asking you abroad also next question is abroad so this is what is the answer over here hmm? it is 10 lakhs education loans in india are restricted to 10 lakhs okay similarly next one see here before going ahead see here uh, or join the officers at that 24/7 youtube channel in this channel now how to join it first i'll give you two points over here firstly why should you join it second is how should you join it okay firstly if you want to join this officers at that 24/7 youtube channel why should you join it you should join it because there are number 1 free youtube series on all the subjects of jib and cib free free okay so join it as app whatever is free grab it fast in youtube series you are seeing similar see here what i watching right now right now you are watching the free youtube series this 2000 question series right similarly you get it for all the subjects of jib as well as for cib so that's why you should join it fast and free and freely grab it isn't it second one how how do you join this scan this qr code see this qr code given over here scan it firstly is this blue link blue qr code is for your uh, telegram channel secondly this this qr code black one is for your youtube channel scan it immediately okay thirdly this is the next instagram uh, qr code let me show you see this instagram qr code so scan this also you'll get it over here instagram qr code 
again are you able to see this let me see yeah you are able to see this so this instagram qr code also scan it immediately even the links are available below in the description box also you can join through that also okay join it immediately because i have told you why is it important to join it got it next one the amount of education loan is restricted to rupees dash for studies abroad just now i told you 10 lakhs for for india so abroad will be what it will be lesser 7.5 lakhs it will be 5 lakhs or it will, will it be 10 lakhs if india i am giving it within india i am giving it for 10 lakhs abroad will be definitely higher isn't it logical so the answer will be 20 lakhs over here isn't it answer is 20 lakhs Got it? Next one. For education loans up to 4 lakhs, which of the following type of security is available? 4 lakhs. Loan up to 4 lakhs. Education loan. What is the security taken? Parents are co-borrowers. Parents are co-borrowers plus third party. Okay. So parents are co-borrowers plus third party. Third party guarantor. Third party guarantor means someone else. Some known person as a guarantor. Then parents as, as co-borrower and plus charge on tangible assets like property house. Give you a house as a collateral for four lakhs. Is it? Parents and co as co-borrower plus all of these now. Charge on tang tangible plus third party all of this. So D is what basically all of this. So for four lakhs what, the, what will the bank take? Remember, 4 lakhs is not a big amount now for banking. Okay, Earlier, few years back, 20, 25 years back, it was a big amount. Now, nothing. Just parents as co-borrowers and loan is disbursed up to 4 lakhs. Okay, Nowadays, loans are disbursed up to 10 lakhs based on civil, just civil, no documentation, zero documentation based on, only based on civil. So, in which world are we? Right? Next one. For loans, Above 4 lakhs and up to 7.5 lakhs. Banks insist on what? Suppose above 4 lakhs. Just now we saw up to 4 lakhs, only parents. So 4 to 7 is what? This uh, co-borrowers plus third party guarantor. Third party guarantor. Then co-borrowers plus parents as co-borrowers plus the house tangible assets. Then uh, D is all of the above again. So what is the right answer over here? 4 to 7.5 lakhs. For 4 to 7, uh, 7.5 lakhs, it is B, third party guarantor. Only this much. Parents plus third party. That also banks have required that well. That's why RBI doesn't say anything about this now. Okay. Means uh, now the restrictions are removed for all. Banks have to take their own risks. Okay. And some numerical sales well. When are they arise? Okay. So let's start without wasting the time. The moratorium period in case of vehicle loans is generally considered as what? Okay, what is the moratorium? In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Okay, let me get it one by one. In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Everyone. Home loans. In home loans, the moratorium period is generally. Yesterday I have taken this. Type in the comment section, everyone. In home loans, what is the moratorium period? Yeah, it is 18 months, correct. In 18 months for new construction. In old houses, no moratorium. Directly disburse it, full amount, and take it. Okay, that's it. So, what is it in case of vehicle loans now? Vehicle loans. 6 months, 3 months, 2 months, and 1 month. So, what is it? There's actually... Yeah, let me see in the comment section what are you answering let me see your comments everyone yeah six months three months two months or one month. in case of vehicle loans huh? we are considering vehicle loans over here so answer passed yeah it is it is everyone everyone we passed Yes. Let me see in the comment section. Yes. Vehicle loans, two wheeler, car, personal, uh, not personal, two wheeler, car, all these, basically these two loans. 
So it is given as let me see. Yes, it is. Actually, there is no moratorium period, but one month is considered as a moratorium period. Why? Because when we disperse it, after that, after one month, the customer starts repaying. Right? That is the logic. So, actually, there is no moratorium period. Okay? No moratorium period allowed for vehicle loans. But in an exam, if it comes and if we don't have the option of no moratorium, understand this, whatever, whatever I am saying. If there is an option of no moratorium period, you will write that. But if there is no option given of no moratorium period, don't get confused. It is one month. Okay. Next one. The repayment period in case of new car loans, new cars is generally up to. So this repayment period for new cars is up to what? Again, let me see. Get it from you. I'll give you one minute to answer, everyone. I'll give you one minute. Let's see. By the time I'll just tell you before, uh, by the time you answer, see this, call the number given over here. On the screen, you are seeing that number, that flashing number, call it. Join the paid batches, okay? Yeah, very important. So, have you got it, everyone? What is the answer? New car loans. New car loans is 60 EMI, correct? 5 years. New car loans is always 5 years. New cars, huh? Now, vehicle loan, many of you get confused in vehicle loan. Vehicle means which vehicle are we talking of? We are talking of two-wheeler, we are talking of car. But we are not talking of commercial vehicle. Suppose truck loan. That is not considered as a vehicle loan. That is a commercial vehicle loan. Okay. So vehicle loan is separate. Got it? The repayment period in case of used car. Now look at this. We are talking of used car over here. In case of used cars is generally 36 EMI. What is 48 EMI? 60 EMI and 72 EMI. So, it is used car, second hand car, right? So, here that depends on what type of car you are purchasing. Suppose if I am purchasing very old car, okay, then the very old car, the repayment period will be different. It can be 24 months also, it can be 12 months also, depending on bank to bank. So, it is it, it's upon the bank to decide. What should be the repayment period for the used car loans? Okay, depending on the life of that car. Okay, but generally for used car it is everyone. What is the answer? Let me see what is the answer you guys are giving. It is for used car it is 36 months. 36. Okay, for used car loans we are giving 36 months and for new car loans. It is this uh, fifth, uh, what five years, sixty months, right? Have we seen for two wheeler, two wheeler loans? Okay, tell me for two wheeler, what is the period for two wheeler generally? Two wheeler, two wheeler loans are given for what? Two wheeler loan. Type in the comment section. Two wheeler loans are given for what period? Which period are the two-wheeler loans given? Yes, everyone. Two-wheeler, two. Scooter, bikes, okay. It is three years, correct, 36 EMI. Scooter, bike, two-wheeler, anything. It is three years, okay, 36 EMI. Next one. Before going ahead, everyone is here. To join the ADDA 24-7, Telegram channel. See, so we are having a separate official Zadda 24 7 Telegram channel. To join this Telegram channel, scan this QR code. Okay? Scan the QR code over here and 
to join the YouTube channel. Scan this QR. Again, okay? scan it fast. So why should you join this channel? Tell me, why should you join? The reason is all the latest updates from IIBF. Understand this, all the latest updates from IIBF regarding JIB and CIB. They are updated on the channels immediately. Okay, number one. Number two, number two, you get free YouTube series. Right now, what are you watching? You guys are watching the same free YouTube series. So the same free YouTube series, you get it on this, on uh, this channel also. Okay, so that's why join this Telegram or the YouTube or the third channel, third channel, there's the Instagram channel also. So join that Instagram also. Okay. Next one. In case of personal loans, banks have the following type of security. So for personal loans, what do we take as a security? Personal. Okay, PL. For personal loans, what type of security do we take? Mortgage of property. Ch charge on future income. No security. Any of the above at the discretion of the bank. So tell me, do I take the mortgage of property for a personal loan? Property is taken for which loan? Property is taken for which loan? Yes. See here, pro pro property is taken for, it's not taken for home loan. In home loan, we create the property. That is called as prime security. When we take the property as a security, we take it as a collateral. Which, which property? If it's an existing property, this one, okay? So mortgage of property is not taken even on home loans. Home loans, we take the mortgage on the new property to be built. Prime security. On collateral security, we don't take it for home loans, right? This mortgage of property is taken for commercial loans. For personal loans, it's not at all there. Charge on future income. That is also not there. See, here, some banks do go for this. Uh, they have a system in nationalized banks, some nationalized banks, that you will require the uh, this company company to give you the this uh, in writing that they'll deduct the EMI from their salary and pass it on to you. But these things are gone now. Nobody does anything. Okay, so charge on the future income that is also not there. No security, that is the answer. In personal loans, there is no security. PL is given merely nowadays on the basis of the civil score. Merely, on the basis of civil score only. Okay, so that's why in case of personal loans, no security is taken. Okay, next one. The credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, which of the following types of loans? Credit risk. Credit risk means what? Firstly, you need to understand credit risk. Credit risk means the default risk. Default risk means the borrower not paying you. Suppose if I give a loan to you and if you don't pay, then I'll be in trouble. So that is known as credit risk. So the credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, the loans? Personal loans. Home loans. Vehicle loans and all of the above. Yes. In which type of risk, uh, uh, in which type of loan the credit risk is higher? Everyone. Let's see one by one. In home loans, I am having the home, right? The home which I uh, take as a prime security. I have that as a uh, that as a security. Suppose if this buyer or borrower does not pay me. Then what will happen? I'll mortgage the loan is home is mortgaged to me. I'll sell that loan and get my money back. In case of vehicle loans, the vehicle is hyper. Yeah, tell me one thing. What is this uh, vehicle done? It is uh, mortgaged, hypothecated, or assigned. Tell me that. In vehicle loans, is the vehicle mortgaged, hypothecated, or assigned? What is it done? Type in the comment section, everyone. Is the vehicle mortgaged, hypothecated or assigned? Everyone, yes. It is. It is hypothecated. Vehicle is always hypothecated. 
again home loans home is always mortgaged okay mortgaged got it this uh, what gold loan gold is always pledged okay then fdod fd is leaned leaned okay leaned then lean got it chalo let's move on the delinquency rate is higher in case of which type of loans so where where is the delinquency means for failure default the default rate is higher in which type of loans personal home loan vehicle loan and all of the above which type of loans will you find this default rate as higher yeah personal home loan vehicle loan and all of the above where the person will be least concerned borrower where the borrower will be least concerned or least worried about the loans in which of them borrower will be least worried in which of these loans is it in personal loan home loan vehicle in home loan the borrower will be afraid if the borrower doesn't pay the emi bank will uh, this property is mortgaged to the bank bank will sell off that property vehicle loan also the the uh, borrower will be afraid that if he, he or she does not pay the emi the bank will sell off the vehicle but in personal loans there is no security so the borrower will be least afraid so therefore the delinquency rate or the failure rate of the personal loans is much much higher okay and for to counter this what do we do to counter this we always follow the civil score the person with the higher civil score there are less chances here i am saying chances it's not that the person will not default there are less chances that the person will default in case of personal loans if with a higher civil score okay so that's why in personal loans we take the help of civil or now it is not only civil there are three to four agencies one is civil second is equifax third is trans union right dun and brad street so there are various agencies got it now everyone before going ahead download adda 247 app in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks test everything whatever we need you will be getting it over here okay so download it uh, download it immediately and start studying because when are the exams not even one month now not by one month not even 15 days now yeah, right so start studying immediately okay so uh, immediately download it and how to download it just go on app store Okay, just Play Store and download it immediately. It's available. Type Adda twenty four seven app. Okay, next one. Personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of the employee, number of years in business, annual income of of the business. So, personal loans are sanctioned generally in uh, on the basis of what? Yeah. salary in case of employee number of years in business and annual income of the business so is it a to c all or is it uh, a and b only or is it b and c only so what is it what is it it is sanctioned on the basis of everyone sanctioned on the basis of personal loans are sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of employee is it on the basis of only salary or is it on the basis of number of years for businessmen here for salaried employees it's employee it's very easy just see the salary slip form 16 and you will get the details of that custom right but businessmen business person there is a problem why because the balance sheets have to be checked you have to check the condition of the business you have to check check the place of the business so personal loans to business businessmen are always difficult okay annual income in case of businesses that is also a point so if i am giving a loan to any person now not only this number of years in business so b and c will be checked in case of business person but in case of employee also nowadays we check where how many years in salary in business or i'll write it here job also job okay 
because both the things are important even the salaried employee if the person is of temporary nature the job is of temporary nature then what so that's why a b and c all so a to c all is the answer okay so the answer is personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of all the three a to c salary number of years and annual income got it next one the amount now you might be seeing these numbers 251 250 where is it that's why i'm saying join the paid classes there i have shared all these question blanks and i'll share it even the revision batches are coming up there also i'll be sharing these revision batches okay so join them immediately okay so the amount of personal loans is classified as big ticket personal loan small ticket personal loan a small ticket personal loan for this purpose is a loan where the amount is so small ticket pl where the amount is what up to 10000 up to 20000 up to 25000 and up to 50000 generally considered as what okay what is the moratorium in home loans what is the moratorium period okay let me get it one by one in home loans what is the moratorium period everyone home loans in home loans the moratorium period is generally yesterday i have taken this type in the comment section everyone in home loans what is the moratorium period yeah it is 18 months correct in 18 months for new construction in old houses no moratorium directly disburse it full amount and take it okay that's it so what is it in case of vehicle loans now vehicle loans 6 months 3 months 2 months and 1 month so what is it there is actually yeah, let me see in the comment section what are you answering let me see your comments everyone yeah 6 months 3 months 2 months or 1 month in case of vehicle loans huh? we are considering vehicle loans over here so answer fast yeah it is it is everyone everyone be fast yes let me see in the comment section yes vehicle loans two wheeler car personal uh, not personal two wheeler car all these basically these two loans so it is given as let me see yes it is actually there is no moratorium period but one month is considered as a moratorium period why because when we disburse it after that after one month the customer starts repaying right that is the logic so actually there is no moratorium period okay no moratorium period allowed for vehicle loans but in an exam if it comes and if we don't have the option of no moratorium understand this whatever I, whatever i am saying if there is an option of no moratorium period we will write that but if there is no option given of no moratorium period don't get confused it is one month okay next one the repayment period in case of new car loans new cars is generally up to so this repayment period for new cars is up to what again let me see get it from you i'll give you one minute to answer everyone i'll give you one minute let's see by the time i'll just tell you before uh, by the time you answer see this call the number given over here on the screen you are seeing that number that flashing number call it join the paid batches okay yeah very important so have you got it everyone what is the answer new car loans new car loans is 60 emi correct 5 years new car loans is always 5 years new cars huh? 
Now vehicle loan, many of you get confused in vehicle loan. Vehicle means which vehicle are we talking of? We are talking of two wheeler, we are talking of car, but we are not talking of commercial vehicle. Suppose truck loan, that is not considered as a vehicle loan. That is a commercial vehicle loan. Okay? So vehicle loan is separate. Got it? The repayment period in case of used car. Now look at this. We are talking of used car over here. In case of used cars is generally 36 EMI. What is 48 EMI? 60 EMI and 72 EMI. So it is used car. Second hand car. Right? Here that depends on what type of car you are purchasing? Suppose if I am purchasing very old car, okay, then the very old car the repayment period will be different. It can be 24 months also, it can be 12 months also, depending on bank to bank. So it's it are it's upon the bank to decide what should be the repayment period for the used car loans, okay, depending on the life of that car. But generally, for used car, it is everyone. What is the answer? Let me see what is the answer you guys are giving. It is for used car, it is 36 months. 36. Okay. For used car loans, we are giving 36 months. And for new car loans, it is this uh, fifth, uh, what, five years, 60 months, right? Have we seen for two-wheeler? Two-wheeler loans, okay, tell me for two-wheeler. What is the period for two-wheeler generally? Two-wheeler. Two-wheeler loans are given for what? Two-wheeler loan. Type in the comment section. Two-wheeler loans are given for what period? Which period are the two-wheeler loans given? Yes, everyone? Two wheeler, two scooter, bikes, okay. It is three years, correct? 36 EMI. Scooter, bike, two wheeler, anything. It is three years, okay? 36 EMI. Next one. Before going ahead, everyone is here to join the Adda 24 7 Telegram channel. See, we are having a separate officers Adda 24 7 Telegram channel. To join this telegram channel, scan this QR code. Okay. Scan the QR code over here. And to join the YouTube channel, scan this QR code. Okay. Scan it fast. So why should you join this channel? Tell me. Why should you join? The reason is all the latest updates from IIBF. Understand this. All the latest updates from IIBF regarding JIB and CIB. They are updated on the channels immediately. Okay, number one. Number two. Number two, you get free YouTube series. Right now, what are you watching? You guys are watching the same free YouTube series. So the same free YouTube series, you get it on this, on uh, this channel also. Okay. So that's why join this Telegram or the YouTube or the third channel. Third channel, there is the Instagram channel also. So join that Instagram also. Okay. Next one. In case of personal loans, banks have the following type of security. So for personal loans, what do we take as a security? Personal. Okay, PL. For personal loans, what type of security do we take? Mortgage of property. Ch charge on future income. No security. Any of the above at the discretion of the bank. So, tell me, do I take the mortgage of property for a personal loan? Property is taken for which loan? Property is taken for which loan? Yes. See here, pro pro property is taken for, it's not taken for home loan. In home loan, we create the property. That is called as prime security. When we take the property as a security, we take it as a collateral. Which, which property? If it's an existing property, this one, okay? So mortgage of property is not taken even on home loans. Home loans, we take the mortgage on the new property to be built. Prime security. 
on collateral security we don't take it for home loans right this mortgage of property is taken for commercial loans for personal loans it's not at all there charge on future income that is also not there see some banks do go for this uh, they have a system in nationalized banks some nationalized banks that you will require the uh, this company company to give you the this uh, in writing they will deduct the emi from their salary and pass it on to you but these things are gone now nobody does anything okay so charge on the future income that is also not there no security that is the answer in personal loans there is no security pl is given merely nowadays on the basis of the civil score merely on the basis of civil score only okay so that's why in case of personal loans no security is taken okay next one so credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, which of the following types of loans credit risk credit risk means what firstly you need to understand credit risk credit risk means the default risk default risk means the borrower not paying you suppose if i give a loan to you and if you don't pay then i'll be in trouble so that is known as credit risk so the credit risk is higher in case of which type of uh, the loans personal loans home loans vehicle loans and all of the above yes in which type of risk uh, uh, in which type of loan the credit risk is higher everyone let's see one by one in home loans i am having the home right the home which i uh, take as a prime security i have that as a collect uh, that as a security suppose if this buyer or borrower does not pay me then what will happen i'll mortgage the loan is uh, home is mortgaged to me i'll sell that loan and get my money back in case of vehicle loans the vehicle is hyper yeah tell me one thing what is this uh, vehicle done it is uh, mortgage hypothecated or assigned tell me that in vehicle loans is the vehicle mortgage hypothecated or assigned what is it then type in the comment section everyone is the vehicle mortgage hypothecated or assigned everyone yes it is it is hypothecated vehicle is always hypothecated okay home loans home is always mortgaged okay mortgaged got it this uh, what gold loan gold is always pledged okay then fdod fd is leaned leaned okay leaned then leaned got it chalo let's move on the delinquency rate is higher in case of which type of loans so where where is the delinquency means what failure default the default rate is higher in which type of loans personal home loan vehicle loan and all of the above which type of loans will you find this default rate as higher yeah personal home loan vehicle loan and all of the above where the person will be least concerned borrower where the borrower will be least concerned or least worried about the loans in which of them borrower will be least worried in which of these loans is it in personal loan home loan vehicle in home loan the borrower will be afraid if the borrower doesn't pay the emi bank will uh, this property is mortgaged to the bank bank will sell off that property vehicle loan also the the uh, borrower will be afraid that if he, he or she does not pay the emi the bank will sell off the vehicle but in personal loans there is no security so the borrower will be least afraid so therefore the delinquency rate or the failure rate of the personal loans is much much higher okay and for to counter this what do we do to counter this we always follow the civil score the person with the higher civil score there are less chances here i am saying chances it's not that the person will not default there are less chances that the person will default 
in case of personal loans if with a higher civic score okay so that's why in personal loans we take the help of civil or nowadays not only civil there are three to four agencies one is civil second is equifax third is trans union right dun and brad street so there are various agencies got it now everyone before going ahead download adda 24/7 app in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks tests everything whatever we need you will be getting it over here okay so download it uh, download it immediately and start studying because when are the exams not in one month now not by one month not in 15 days now right so start studying immediately okay so uh, immediately download it and how to download it just go on app store okay this play store and download it immediately it's available type adda 247 app okay next one personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of the employee number of years in business annual income of of the business so personal loans are sanctioned generally in, uh, on the basis of what yeah salary in case of employee number of years in business and annual income of the business so is it a to c all or is it uh, a and b only or is it b and c only so what is it what do you say it is sanctioned on the basis of everyone sanctioned on the basis of personal loans are sanctioned on the basis of salary in case of employee is it on the basis of only salary or is it on the basis of number of years for businessman here for salaried employees it's employee it's very easy just see the salary slip form 16 and you'll get the details of that custom right but businessman business person there's a problem why because the balance sheets have to be checked you have to check the condition of the business you have to check check the place of the business so personal loans to business businessmen are always difficult okay annual income in case of businesses that is also a point so if i am giving a loan to any person now not only this number of years in business so b and c will be checked in case of business person but in case of employee also nowadays we check where how many years in salary in business or i'll write it here job also job okay because both the things are important even the salaried employee if the person is of temporary nature the job is of temporary nature then what so that's why a b and c all so a to c all is the answer okay so the answer is personal loans are generally sanctioned on the basis of all the three a to c salary number of years and annual income got it next one the amount now you might be seeing this numbers 251 250 where is it that's why i'm saying join the paid classes there i have shared all these question banks and i'll share it even the revision batches are coming up there also i'll be sharing these revision batches okay so join them immediately okay so the amount of personal loans is classified as big ticket personal loan small ticket personal loan a small ticket personal loan for this purpose is a loan where the amount is so small ticket pl where the amount is what up to 10000 up to 20000 up to 25000 and up to 50000 what is it small ticket personal loan it is up to 10 20 25 or 50 actually i'll tell you small ticket personal loans are up to the amount of 5 lakhs even 5 lakhs is considered as a stpl okay hi friends welcome to adda 247 we are in the achiever cv series for jib here we are covering all the important objective questions as well as important theories and some numericals as well whenever they arise okay so let's start without wasting the time so let's start everyone answer it from your side 
everyone i want the answers from your side retail banking is exposed to what type of risk out of the following is it credit risk business risk market risk operations risk or reputation risk and again look at this retail banking it is exposed to what type of risk credit business market ops or reputation a to d all a to e all a and d only a and c only what is the answer everyone i'll just wait for two, for half a minute and then we'll go ahead type fast in the comment section everyone let me see comment section retail banking is exposed to what type of risk credit business market operations and reputation isn't it it is exposed to everyone b correct or a to e all all types of risks are there credit risk is there business business risk means long term thinking not positive credit means the person defaults your customer defaults market risk means something else comes in means which is not in your hands operations means there are system failures there are employee problems all these reputation means something bad comes about your bank in the newspaper okay so a to e all next one when customer fails to pay the due amount this is classified as dash risk means when customer is not able to pay you the amount you have given the loan but the customer is not able to give back the loan so that is called as what operations risk market risk credit risk or business risk what is it called as when customer fails to pay the due amount what is it called as it is called as credit risk okay customer remember whenever any customer fails to pay you the due amount it's called as credit risk credit risk is of two parts always remember one is country risk country and second is counterparty okay counterparty counterparty means the person in front of you who is not able to pay you okay so in retail banking generally country risk is not there retail banking huh? because why we don't give a loans outside the country in retail so this is the main risk in this uh, uh, credit risk basically in retail banking okay so that's why it's called as a counterparty counterparty means this person the customer fails to pay you the due amount okay bank may lose money due to wrong strategy followed by it this is known as dash risk wrong strategy strategy means long term thinking bank follows long term thinking wrong so this is known as what operations market credit or business risk what do you mean by long term strategy wrong yeah in banking in banking do you know if any bank is there any bank now which is not having net banking the bank which is not having net banking will lose out in the business have you seen nokia nokia phones now nokia was once a world leader okay 2008 world leader today where is nokia today where is it nokia gone business risk strategic risk this is also known as a strategic risk okay business risk or strategic risk similarly in banking also if you don't follow the changing technology you'll be out of the business okay that is known as strategic risk everyone download adda 247 app on your mobile in this app you'll be getting the premium st study material plus live classes ebooks test whatever we require for clearing jib and cib we get it over here so that's why immediately download it okay if there is if there is a process failure or frauds this is called as dash risk so process failure process means my process systems fail so this is known as what or fraud also operations market credit or business risk what type of risk is this if there is a process failure many times we see that link not there right we see, we tell the customer link not there we feel so easy that link not there but do you know what is the business risk in this if some transaction has been done half when the link was gone there is a huge susceptibility or huge problem to that half transaction means one entry was passed other was pending huge problem 
okay so if there is a process failure or fraud there is a dash uh, that is called as a dash risk so it is called as operations risk remember this okay there is change in the value of assets securities due to which the bank may incur loss so change in the value of assets or securities securities means the securities which i have taken suppose if i have given you the loan okay and i have taken let's say gold against it and tomorrow the gold rate falls down very drastically falls down because that is a security or i have given you cc cash credit and i have taken stock against that and the value of this stock becomes zero then this risk is called as what operations risk market risk credit risk business risk comment section come and let me see comment section how many of you can answer see here get your score how many of you are able to score it at the end of the uh, this uh, video i'll be asking you what is your score correct score okay so what is the answer over here everyone yes it is it is part of credit risk only so how many of you have got it correct okay i'll ask you the score at the end let's see okay a lending bank can source the credit score of the borrower from number one credit information agency information from the loan application and next is market information so lending bank means the bank which is giving the loan okay suppose you are giving the loan to somebody from where can you get the credit information about the buyer or the borrower from which all agency one is a cic second is from the loan application the form which the customer fills has many details so that also you can get it market information means information about that borrower from other persons so it is uh, from where do we get it a to c all a and b only b and c only and a and c only so what is the right answer just type capital a b c or d check it yourself see here exam is to be given by you now exam is very near so the answer is this a to c all correct Got it right? We'll check it at the end. Your score, okay? Which of the following statements is correct regarding the credit score? So, which of the following statements is correct? You want correct, huh? It takes a snapshot of the consumer's credit report. So, snapshot, okay? Snapshot of consumer's credit report. Through advanced analytics, it turns the information into a number or score. That is also okay. The score represents the amount of risk relating to a particular transaction, and D is all of the above. What is the correct answer? Credit score means what? We get that civil score now, right? So, what is a good civil score? As per me, as per the bank, good civil score as per your bank. Type in the comment section. What is a good civil score as per your bank? Generally, it is. Let me see in the comment section. Yes, generally it is seven hundred. Okay, what is the maximum civil score? Maximum. Let me write it over here. Okay, maximum civil score is this is the maximum. This is the minimum. This is good. Okay, good. Maximum. And this is minimum. Okay, so what is the answer now? Good. I already we have written seven hundred. So maximum is what? Yeah, nine hundred minimum is three hundred. Okay, yeah, you must get it correct. So what is the answer over here? Which of the following statement is correct? So the answer is D, all of the above. How many of you got this right? D. Everyone for joining the Adda twenty four seven this officers Adda twenty four seven scan this QR code for Telegram. Blue one for QR Telegram. You can pause the video and scan it right now. This blue one for this uh, Telegram, this other one black one for this YouTube, and this third one for Instagram. You can scan all of them and join all the three channels because there we are covering all the important free numericals also, free YouTube sessions also. Okay, so you'll get it over everything. You'll get yeah, some tests also, free tests. Okay. Products such as retail gold coins, health policies, unit-linked insurance products, insurance are tag tagged to housing and car loans. Tagged. Look at this tagged huh? to housing and car loans. 
is the requirement of dash needs so of master hierarchy so it is a requirement of what tagged means what you buy you get housing loan from me housing and you get free what is that free you get you get gold coin free gold coin or you get some insurance free or anything so this is a a uh, feature of which type of mass uh, which level at maslow's hierarchy self actualization esteem security social or only b c and d what is the answer let me see how many of you are getting it correct the answer is e only b c and d self actualization doesn't need all these taggings okay which of the following is a credit score model so which of the following is a credit score model no which is this arc trans asia civil trans union rbi credit rating and all of the very tricky one all of them seem yeah now i won't answer let me get it from you first yeah which of the following is a credit score model it is B civil trans union. It's not all of the above. Many of you are writing all of the above. No, RBI credit rating is not there. Means it's just a guideline. Okay, credit score is basically civil trans union. Okay. For esteem needs of the customers, banks offer the following products. So esteem means remember. Chal, I'll just give you Maslow's hierarchy first. Lowest is physiological. Physiology. Okay. Second is what safety. Third is what social, right? Social. Remember this. Fourth is what esteem. Esteem, and fifth one is actualization. Simple one. I have covered this many times. Actualization. Okay. So these are the five levels. Lowest means from the basic one to the very richest one. Okay. So coming back to the question for esteem needs of the customers, esteem is this fourth one. Huh? We are talking of this now. Banks offer special term deposits, term insurance products, housing loans, or home improvement loans. So what do we offer for these guys, rich guys? All of them may be offered. Huh? Just check this. Okay. Type type in the comment section. Is it A means A to C all, B A and B only, C B and C only, or this A and C only? What is the answer? Type fast in the comment section. Yes, yes, yes. It is A A to C all. Everything is offered. Okay, for esteem needs. The retail ranking suffers from which of the following constraints or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Select the wrong one. Problem in managing large number of customers. So we want the wrong one, huh? so is this the right one? There are large number of customers. Yes, this is true. We want a false one. This is we want a false one. False. Quick evolution of uh, products that leads to IT complications. Quick evolution of products means today I design some product, tomorrow it is gone. Because what happens? The some other bank comp uh, competitor brings in the some new product. So that is also true. Availability of higher spreads means higher spreads are available. Is this true? Higher spreads. So that is also true actually because higher spreads are available. Level of irregularity in loans is very high. This is false because NPAs in retail banking are less. They are always less over here. Less. Why? Because the loans are distributed. Okay. So the answer is. How many of you got it right? D. Okay, answer is D. Defaulter of a loan means not paying installment, bad reputation, illegal activities, none of the above. Who is the defaulter? Bad reputation, illegal activities. We have nothing to do with here. Bank has is only concerned about its EMI and its uh, interest. Okay, so not paying the loan installments is the right answer. Okay. If somebody is doing some illegal activities, he will be caught by the police. If somebody is having a bad reputation, we are not concerned with that reputation over here. Okay, as far as it is not against the country. Okay, everyone subscribe to Officers Adda twenty four seven YouTube channel. In this channel, just now I gave you the those QR codes. Here in this channel, 
<laughs> YouTube channel you will be getting what you will be getting free YouTube series plus you will be getting the latest updates from IIBF notifications IIBF gives various notifications now now it's exam period this exam date change this timing change venue change something new about the portion they'll give any many things so everything is updated on the official web that 24 7 youtube channel subscribe to it click on the bell icon share it with your friends okay in which of the following business approach of retail banking the branches are classified based on the business potential for the focused marketing strategy these branches are positioned uh, as resource centers and form a part of overall segmentation plan segmented approach geography based classification based any of these what is the answer segmentation see here look at this is it segmented approach the question answer is in the question itself it is a segmented approach Ex segmented okay life insurance means insurance of human insurance of life of human and cattle insurance of life of machines and all of the above life huh? we are talking of life insurance answer is how many of you are getting it correct let me see many of you are typing b insurance of life and human cattle uh, human and cattle so the answer is a cattle life insurance is known as livestock insurance that comes under general insurance okay retail business model is built based on dash in geography based approach geography now we want geography based approach again check the questions you will get the answer different products different service geographies and different market what is the answer geography based approach based on dash what is this dash different product service geographies are different market it is geographies okay general insurance relates to insurance against so general insurance is what fire theft burglary and all of the above check me let me check how many of you are able to answer very simple question general insurance relates to fast 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 very simple one so simple question all of the above isn't it Aadhaar is 12 digit number card identity proof issued by uidi both a and b and none of the above what is this b everyone knows but what about a we all use the other how many of you remember your other number type fast don't type the other number how many of you remember your other other number that's it very difficult isn't it it's a 12 digit number so the answer is c both a and b okay which of the following business approach for retail banking is found in public sector banks segmented geography based classification based and holistic model based on the corporate objectives for retail business what is the answer a b c or d fast comment section fast in the comment section a b c or d it is d holistic model remember this many of us feel it is this uh, classification based okay but it is holistic classification means what semi-urban urban rural branch that is classification but the answer is not this answer is this holistic model okay ERS means in savings account we have this ERS east or south east easy and swift either or survivor none of the above what is the answer ERS means what comment section see let me see comment section yes fast we have to be fast now okay C E A either or survivor which is prohibited on writing on the currency notes prohibited huh? political message religious message personal message all of the above so what is prohibited all of the above you can't write anything on any note okay clean note policy bank adopted the following business approach for retail banking so which is the business approach banks have adopted now bank means what it can be private bank it can be nationalized bank it can be cooperative bank so it is sbu strategic business unit departmental integrated or generalized which of the approaches are appro uh, uh, this uh, followed by the banks all of the above 
but there's no option of all of the above why because it is not actually all of the above the correct answer is only d a to c all sbo departmental integrated there is nothing called a generalized mo approach okay there is no generalized approach ppf means pension planning funds pension person having pension facilities public provident funds and permanent practitioners fund okay fund so what is this ppf means public provident fund ppf we have hi friends welcome to adda 24/7 we are in the achiever cv series for jib here we are covering all the important objective questions as well as important theories and some numericals as well when are they arise okay so let's start without wasting the time the moratorium period now the numbers you'll see the numbers we have we have been covering it since many days as such that's why these numbers are continuous okay so what that's why i'm saying watch the series till from the starting the moratorium period in case of personal loans is so in case of personal loans what is the moratorium period ps what do you think is should be the moratorium period in, in terms of personal loan it is always 1 month 2 month 3 month 6 months personal loan personal loan means how many of you you have worked in loans how many of you have worked in loans just type yes in the comment section loan section those who have worked in the loan section they will understand it that for pls we don't give any moratorium period no moratorium period then where is the answer no moratorium period when there is answer as no moratorium period over here what are you actually saying you are saying one month moratorium period why because after the disbursement it takes one month for the, the for the person borrower to pay the emi isn't it so that's why personal loans will have one one month moratorium period okay got it one month moratorium period next one personal loans are repayable in a period of yeah they are repayable in the period of what what do you say guys 12 months 24 months 36 months 48 months generally i am talking of generally now there can be any bank can give the personal loan for 5 years also maximum loans allowed for the banks are 10 years right so some bank can say that okay i'll give it for 10 years that's not an issue but generally 90% banks how long do they give the pls they give the pls for what do you say guys they give the pls for 36 months okay 36 months always remember pls are always given generally for 3 years okay do we take any security on personal loans type in the comment section do we take any security is it compulsory for us to take any security for the personal loans what is it is it compulsory no not at all compulsory okay you can just give the personal loan like that only without any security some banks do ask for some fd some bike some car something in uh, as a collateral but that depends on bank to bank and depends on that score of that customer credit score okay chal next one for repayment of personal loans banks obtain dash for payment on the due date so what do the banks obtain payment on the due date huh? due date on the due date the customer should pay means every month we have that emi date right so for that date what do the what do the banks take authority letter to debit a deposit account fdr as a security for the loan post digit checks and any of the above i know all of you will get confused over here between a and c now because b everyone knows b is not a uh, something which is taken for uh, the due date point okay fdr is taken as a security that security has nothing to do with payment on the due date all of you will get confused between a and c because you feel both of them are right a is also right c is also right so what does the bank take now now i am talking in this present age of computers internet upi everywhere what do we take do we take these pdcs now 
how many of you do take pdcs now from the customer type yes in the comment section if you take pdcs one or three pdfs we take up till now for that negotiable instruments act but for the regular repayment 12 pdcs 36 pdcs do we take it gone all those days are gone now directly authority letter that also we call it si now right standing instruction authority letter means si so we take SI only, that is the only point, isn't it? Because nowadays all these things are gone, PDCs and all these things, everything gone, okay? Next one. The disbursement of a personal loan is generally in one go, in the period of one or two months, in installments, any of the above at the bank's discretion. So personal loan is disbursed how? In one go. Or uh, one go means what? Single single installment. Means single loan, singly I suppose if you want a loan of four or five lakhs, I'll give you five lakhs immediately. Or will I give it in two months? One or two months. Oh, this month one lakh, next month one lakh. In installments, every month I'll be giving you fifty fifty thousand. Do I give it like this? At the bank's discretion? How does the bank generally give this loan? It's always given at A in one go. Personal loans are always given in one go. Okay. Now you'll say, sir, personal loans one go, that's okay. See, the question over here is generally how is it given? 90% every year. See, here, it's after all at the discretion of the bank. Bank can sometimes tell you that, okay, one month, this month I am giving you this much, next month I will be giving you whenever you require it. But generally what happens, personal loan is for what? Personal loan is for the personal requirements. And for that the human being or that customer has applied. Right? So if the customer has applied for some urgent work, that person is needed exactly the full amount for that urgent work. So that's why it's always disbursed in one go. Okay? Next one. The term demographic dividend is used in Indian context with reference to with demographic dividend. What do you mean by this word dividend? Dividend means basically advantage. So demographic advantage to India is in what terms now? Who can tell me? Demographic dividend is in India is in is for what terms? Advantage of largest number of qualified persons. Qualified. Do we have too many qualified persons? Advantage of highest number of young persons. Do we have young persons? Advantage of highest number of software development firms. Do we have that? Advantage of all of the above. All of the above. What do you think is the answer? Yeah. Type fast in the comment section. Qualified, young or software. It is B. Highest number of young people. That is the right answer. Advantage of highest number of wrong young people. That is the correct answer. Because India has a high demographic dividend of young persons. Do you know which country is aging now? Aging. Aging means all of them are getting old. Japan. Correct. Japan is aging. Second, China is coming up in the same line. China is also aging now. Okay. So that is the biggest disadvantage to these countries. Next one. For education loans, bank takes the following. So banks take what banks follow. Policy prescribed by Ministry of HRD. Policy details formulated by RBI. Model education loan scheme by IBA. The own policy framed by them without taking into account any instruction from RBI or government of R or IBA. What is the answer? Means education loan which policy is forward this policy is given by a certain dip, a certain institution which is that institution that is the right, right question over here hrd ministry of hrd rbi iba or their own forget everything rbi forget this uh, government i'll do my whatever i want is it that d what is the answer everyone what is the answer it is iba 
remember this for education loans banks follow the model education loan scheme of iba iba has devised this scheme okay everyone before going ahead download adda 24/7 app on your mobile in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks test whatever we require for clearing jib and cib you will get it over here so that's why download it right now okay do don't just download it otherwise i'll i'll tell you many how many apps okay let me ask you one question in your own mobile how many apps do you have do you know the number at least how many number of apps you have type yes or no i know many of the answers are no over here because i myself don't know how many apps are there in my mobile we just download it and keep it saying that oh we'll use it sometime don't do that this is the main bread and butter daily it's like breathing in and breathing out that much important this app is for you download it and use it in this app adda 24/7 app you will be getting premium study material everything that is there free tests free ebooks some part of the ebooks are given free free lectures are also given so whatever is free grab it download it immediately okay next one move on so for education loan education loan is available generally to which of the following school students professional and other college students only university level students and any of the above so whom is the education loan available now who gets the education loan let me see yes 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 who gets the education loan school students now have you seen any schools getting the education loan i think so within some years they'll also require it because the school fees are so huge now isn't it look at the primary school fees in the private schools they are around 2 and in metro cities they are around 4 to 5 lakhs metros many of you might be say, staying in metros you might be seeing those private school fees in tier 2 cities they are around 1 and 1 and 1/2 lakhs so the right answer for this is what this is this professional and college students other college students okay so education loan is given to these guys professional and other college students only university level student that's not the right answer okay it can be to professionals also means cas they are also given the education loan okay in case of education loans who is made a co borrower sir education loan is given to whom tell me first it is always given to that student actually the borrower is that student but what happens we don't the student is not earning at that time that's why we don't give that person that student that much uh, that amount we give we take some co borrower so whom do we take the co borrower the college where the student takes the admission my god college where the student takes the admission this college will go bankrupt there are 1200 let's say 1000 students in any college suppose college becomes the <laughs> co borrower to these students college will go bankrupt right so that is out family member of the members of the borrower the parents of the borrower friends and relatives of the borrower near and dear ones see this b c and d all of them are similar answers or what is the correct answer then correct answer is this parents parents of the borrower means this student parents of the student are taken as the co borrowers always remember this but remember generally what happens the parents are taken as co borrower but what is the logic of this education loan suppose if i take the education loan i am the student let's say okay so i am going for let's say engineering so in engineering first year means i'll take the admission and then um, when will i repay the loan and who will repay the loan suppose if my parents are taken as the co borrower okay then what is expected from that loan who should repay that loan should the parents repay it or should the student repay it what is thing guys what is expected from that loan it is expected that the student should complete the course and repay the loan 
by joining the job or doing some business anything so that is the logic behind it student should repay but what happens we take parents as a co-borrower why because if the student doesn't get a job immediately if the student fails then what the loan is to be repaid in any case so that repayment will be done by this co-borrower as a parents okay The amount of education loans is is uh, restricted to dash for studies in India. So in India, what is the maximum amount of education loan? Five lakh, seven point five lakh, ten lakh, twenty lakh. Now this is a simple answer. Okay. What is the answer over here? Education loans in India. In India. So immediately I'll be asking you abroad also. Next question is abroad. So this is what is the answer over here. It is ten lakhs. Education loans in India are restricted to ten lakhs. Okay. Similarly, next one. See here. Before going ahead, see here. Ah, uh, or join the officers at the twenty four seven YouTube channel. In this channel, now how to join it first? I'll give you two points over here. Firstly, why should you join it? Second is how should you join it? Okay. Firstly, if you want to join this officers at that twenty four seven YouTube channel, why should you join it? You should join it because there are number one free YouTube series on all the subjects of JIB and CIB free, free. Okay, so join it as a whatever is free, grab it fast. In YouTube series, you are seeing similar. See, here, what are you watching right now? Right now, you are watching the free YouTube series, this two thousand question series, right? Similarly, you get it for all the subjects of JIB as well as for CIB. So that's why you should join it fast and free and freely grab it, isn't it? Second one, how how do you join this? Scan this QR code. See this QR code given over here. Scan it. Firstly, is this blue link? Blue QR code is for your uh, Telegram channel. Secondly, this this QR code black one is for your YouTube channel. Scan it immediately. Okay. Thirdly, this is the next Instagram uh, QR code. Let me show you. this instagram qr code so scan this also you'll get it over here instagram qr code okay are you able to see this let me see yeah you able to see this so this instagram qr code also scan it immediately even the links are available below in the description box also you can join through that also okay join it immediately because i've told you why is it important to join it got it next one The amount of education loan is restricted to rupees dash for studies abroad. Just now I told you, ten lakhs was for India. So abroad will be what? It will be lesser, seven point five lakhs. It will be five lakhs, or it will will it be ten lakhs? If India I am giving it within India I am giving it for ten lakhs. Abroad will be definitely higher, isn't it logical? So the answer will be twenty lakhs over here, isn't it? Answer is twenty lakhs. Got it. Next one. For education loans up to four lakhs, which of the following type of security is available? Four lakhs loan up to four lakhs education loan. What is the security taken? Parents are co-borrowers. Parents are co-borrowers plus third party. Okay. So parents are co-borrowers plus third party. Third party guarantor. Third party guarantor means someone else. Some known person as a guarantor, then parents as as co-borrower and plus charge on tangible assets like property, house, give you a house as a collateral for four lakhs, is it? Parents as co as co-borrower plus all of these now charge on tang tangible plus third party all of this. So D is what basically all of this. So for four lakhs, what the what will the bank take? Remember, four lakhs is not a big amount now for banking. Okay, earlier, few years back, twenty, twenty-five years back, it was a big amount. Now nothing, just parents as co-borrowers and loan is disbursed up to four lakhs. Okay, nowadays loans are disbursed up to ten lakhs based on civil, just civil, no documentation, zero documentation based on only based on civil. So in which world are we, right? Next one, for loans. Above four lakhs and up to seven point five lakhs, banks insist on what? Suppose above four lakhs. Just now we saw up to four lakhs only parents. 
So four to seven is what? This uh, co-borrower plus third party guarantor. Third party guarantor. Then co-borrower plus parents as co-borrower plus the house tangible assets. Then uh, D is all of the above again. So what is the right answer over here? Four to seven point five lakhs. For four to seven uh, seven point five lakhs, it is D third party guarantor only this much parents plus third party. That also banks have required that swell. That's why RBI doesn't say anything about this now. Okay, means uh, now the restrictions are removed for all banks have to take their own risks. Okay, so friends, that was the YT series for you. Now before going, do join this resolution batch for JIB May 2020. All the numericals, objective questions, case studies, everything is covered. All the four subjects are covered. JIB Mahapak 2.0, you can join this also. You know, huge discounts are available for the same. I'll show you how to get the discount. Okay, go to Adda 24-7 for you. How to go to Adda 24-7? I'll always suggest you to go through the app. In the app, you get around 1% extra. It is the point system. So go to Adda 24-7. Click on JIB and CIB. Click on JIB May 24. JIB May. Now you will see this resolution batch. JIB. If you click on this batch, you will see the details. Say this. All the details are given over here. Expert faculties, interactive classes, recorded videos. Recorded video means if you miss out on the, on the class, you will get it again. Ebooks, test series, online live classes. Ebooks are available chapter wise. Test series are available chapter wise. Limited size batch. You can click on buy now. Now you are getting 75% off. But put the code Y432. Remember the code Y432. Click on apply. Now you are getting 77% off. So join fast. You won't get this offer every now and then. Also you can join the Mahapak. In Mahapak you are getting multiple batches. See this. JIB Mahapak 2.0. You get multiple batches and various validity days. 3 months, 6 months, 12 months. Here you get ebooks, videos, test series, online classes, regular tests, interactive classes, and multiple batches for the same subject. So, isn't it a good offer? And even 77% off that is applicable here also. Click on buy now. Again, Y432. Okay, click on apply. See this 77% off. So, don't miss this offer. Join the batches SF. When is the batch starting? Just now. Okay, so it will start and join it immediately. 